So y'all mean to tell me you're going to be talking about Broly this much and no one is even going to bring me into the conversation to get my perspective? Mm -mm -mm. What's going on guys, your boy Ooj, and of course we are back again, once again. Hope y'all doing great today. So I'm going to record this video really quick because yes, I am on a quick little break while I'm working. So I had to of course chime in and see... What the hell's going on with all this Broly discussion? And uh, like I said, how are y'all not gonna, you know, bring up the V Broly dude? All right, I'm 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 that guy. Anyway, besides the point, the whole debacle that's been going on um, recently is pretty much coming off of these recent Dragon Ball Super superhero scans that some people have been pretty like on the fence on exactly what some of these translations were referring to. And to do a little bit of clarification, I'm obviously gonna be sourcing both dbs chronicles and geekdom because this originally whole thing started actually technically this started with geekdom's video which then kind of turned into dbs chronicles talking about the scan off of his own translations but then geekdom then having to go out of his, his way to then correct chronicles because chronicles didn't really have his story all the way right but at the same time he wasn't all the way wrong either just because i guess if how you want to interpret the wording or how they could go about in the future i still am on the side of what geekdom is going for because geekdom source is herms and if you don't know who herms is herms has literally been translating stuff for us for over like 20 years so no offense to chronicles but i mean like Come on now. So the whole thing is in regards to whether or not Broly is going to now attain Super Saiyan Blue. That's ultimately what this is all about. Now, my quick thought on that is y'all already know how I feel is that Broly should be the one to essentially become the first Super Saiyan 4 Primal Instinct kind of transformation and power up or whatever. He should be that guy just off of, you know, everything that I've been talking about in the last several jillion videos that I've had on this channel. And this is pretty much talking about the idea that that's something that he could possibly attain in the future or something that he could kind of look towards or look forward towards maybe one day achieving and it's all due to what herms translated roughly on the recent skin and it goes a little something like this when discussing super saiyan blue it notes how broly had trouble fighting it and says this is probably the best transformation to aim for since everything is framed in terms of Broly. I think the idea is that Broly should try to get Super Saiyan Blue. Herms isn't really necessarily saying that he needs it or that's exactly what's going to happen in this movie, but it's almost like that's a suggestion because if you look even further and if you're like me who kind of forgot about how Super Saiyan Blue is a combination of key control with strength, which, you know, talks about how, like, this is good for, like, kind of, like, keeping yourself cool, calm, and collected. That's something that I didn't really remember as far as Super Saiyan Blue goes. I figured that kind of calm direction was more towards the Ultra Instinct pathway, which is, you know, of a higher deity type of, you know, variety, and it's all about the body kind of just doing its own thing and so on and so forth. Super Saiyan Blue actually involves a little bit of that, not necessarily, but it is more about that calm mind and strength at the same time. So that's why we're bringing up Super Saiyan Blue in correlation to Broly, not just off of this scan, this whole page that's really dedicated to just talking about Broly and comparing him to like other Saiyans and whatnot. But at the end of the day, it's not saying that that's exactly what's going to be happening next. It's, it's literally just a suggestion, which... I don't think that's a terrible thing to suggest considering that that is what Super Saiyan Blue entails and that is what they're ultimately trying to help Broly out with is to control himself and you know his 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 whole being so that way he doesn't go fully out of control full power all the time and whatever I mean he could go full power but they're trying to obviously teach him how to harness it a little bit more with giving him more experience because now this is where I step in and give you guys my whole take on all of this like I said 
I don't really think that if Broly ever did get Super Saiyan Blue, I wouldn't be mad. I would never I would definitely not be mad. I would I would be pretty hyped, just like the next person that saw another godlike character attain some new type of power level and the fact that if he ever actually did attain that i mean look how strong he is as it is if he ever got super saiyan blue do you realize how much more stronger this guy would be okay he don't need it but if he does we take those you know what i'm saying but as far as this movie's concerned i mean if they were to tease him actually like you know tapping into that god key i oof I'm a pop off for sure. I'm a, I'm a definitely pop off, but I'm I'm not gonna lie. I I still am kind of holding it true to my guns here with thinking like you know if they're ever gonna give Broly like another level beyond what he's at right now, I really do think that he should be the one exploring this primal instinct, um, transformation, power up, and everything like that, just because of the nature of it and what is involved with it being like the deeper rooted saiyan origins the fact that it is directly involved with their great ape stuff and all of that you know what i'm saying so this is stuff that we've been talking about on the full power podcast and all these other videos that i have had on this channel so again all those cheap plugs are going to be in the description if you guys aren't already sub to the full power podcast channel and if you're not already subbed here please leave a like because it obviously helps but that's kind of like my two cents i guess is i didn't think that Super Saiyan Blue would be the next thing for Broly. And it's, it's really funny how they're not, they're like, like Super Saiyan God is not even like a thing anymore. Like they just, they're really skipping over it, which is, makes sense because, you know, Broly's OD and he just, he just does whatever he wants. So I'm, I'm okay with that. So let me know your guys' opinions and thoughts and takes and whatnot. Did you learn something today? Because I definitely sure did because I had to be re-reminded about this whole Super Saiyan Blue thing being not just about strength and power, but also being, um, you know, having uh, directly something to do with having a calm mind and you know, key control. And that's exactly what Broly does need in that regard. But again, they're not saying that he's going to. They're just kind of teasing it and kind of giving us more to talk about, more to think about. And I'm going to get, you know, Brother Uch and Kai's opinions on the Full Power Podcast. So make sure you guys are, uh, stay tuned to that. But, like I was trying to say, make sure you guys are liking, sharing, subscribing. Leave me your comments and thoughts about what you guys think about all of this uh, down below. And I'll look forward to responding to some of you guys. And uh, keep it not head ass. It's been your boy Uch. And make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. May the power protect. Keep it locked live right here on the channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. I'll see you guys next time.